Hey, this is Gavin. So the issue here is um, sense making and bias and um, interpreting words, interpreting these symbols. So, you know, there was this uh, moment in this recording and I'll go ahead and play it. That seems to be what's going on. At least that at least that's what Justin Trudeau. That's the card he's playing constantly. I mean, for him to say two weeks ago, you probably heard this for Justin Trudeau to say that the unvaccinated are mostly racist and misogynist. So the unvaccinated are mostly racist and misogynist. So the reason I was aware of this is um, Jacob and his discord server, and it may have been Jacob someone, I think it was him. He shared a link to Pajot's tweet and I had responded in the discord server. I'm like, this reminds me of when people said Trump said the people that the immigrants, the illegal immigrants are racist. It's very similar. And the thing is, is what happens is people interpret the words um, with bias, right? And also people will be shaped by the headline. And what I did notice is that if you look at this headline, this headline says, Justin Trudeau calls unvaccinated racist and misogynistic extremist, right? Now, that's a lot of people will just believe the headline. But if you just scroll down, and I've actually listened to the clip, it's not in English, so maybe the translations are wrong, and maybe Jonathan does know something I don't, but I'm trusting the translation. But basically, it's not um, most, right? So, often, often racist and misogynistic extremists. So there's a difference. <clears throat> so we can listen to Justin or uh, Jonathan Pajot again. And so the, the way I found this clip, so I, I did a, um, a response. I said, Pajot's interpretation of Trudeau's statements is different than Trudeau's statements. Pajot isn't a good sense maker. This person said, nope, he nailed it. Trudeau called the unvaccinated a group of women haters, racists, and science deniers. Um, P4, I didn't know what this meant, but I think he agreed. There's these eight upvotes, three upvotes for mine. And, um, and I said, in which hallucination did you pick when Trump spoke of illegal immigrants not sending their best? And then P4 responded and said that, um, um, that I can look up the quote, which I already have done twice before I made this comment, but I don't think anyone else has, or they're somehow just not willing to question their own interpretation of the words, right? So if you want to pivot and turn this into a debate about a completely different politician and to imply people are simply imagining things, then that is something else. And so that's also, like, what do you think we're doing here? Like, we're doing sense-making, or that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm um, alluding to, is sense-making, right? Sense-makers. And in order to do the sense-making, you have to be aware that we all have our biases, and um, you need to consider multiple interpretations of the words and symbols that are being said um, when you're doing sense making. Um, so what they are really doing is they have some antagonism about Justin Trudeau that's in their bias. And you can even see it in this response. It's like, you know, I'm doing sense making, but you are talking about a politician. And I'm not even talking about a politician. Right? I'm actually talking about how do we make sense of the world. And I'm pointing at where people are failing. And it just turns out that most people are failing. Like eight upvotes for the person who failed, three upvotes for the person who is trying to be a better sense maker, calling into question, you know, some official, author uh, official interpretation from an authority like Jonathan Pajot or the headline of some article you read. So, I mean, that's, you know, the number of sense makers is small. It's very small. Um, I responded, I said, many people only pay attention to the headline, including Jonathan Pajot. We have to be very careful with our words when we are using and discerning condemning statements. Most people aren't being careful and serious like I am. Like, how many people are going to do what I'm doing right now, right? Um, like, I think this war we are doing in the virtual space related to sense-making is 
very important. And I think it's more important than most people do. But the way I found this is I went to thislittlecorner.com and I searched for racist. And what I found was that it's 10604 is where this starts. So that's how I found this this clip. And let's let him say it again. At least that at least that's what Justin Trudeau that's the card he's playing constantly. I mean for him to say two weeks ago, you probably heard this. For Justin Trudeau to say that the unvaccinated are mostly racist and misogynist. Mostly. So mostly would mean out of all of those who are unvaccinated, more than half of them are racist and misogynist. So I don't think Justin Trudeau is saying that more than half of those who are unvaccinated are these racist misogynists. This article doesn't even like, in the headline, doesn't even indicate that there is a qualifier in the statement. But if you dig in past the headline, the clickbait headline which shapes humans with biases, it shapes our society. These headlines do, these clickbait headlines. You just have to scroll down and you can say often racist and misogynist extremists. And then you can also listen to it. We on va s'en sortir de cette pandémie par la vaccination. Puis on sait, on en connaît tous des gens qui sont en train d'hésiter un petit peu. On va continuer d'essayer de convaincre. Mais il y a aussi des gens qui sont farouchement opposés. So there are people who are still making up their minds, and there are also people who are vehemently opposed to vaccination. And so the ones who are vehemently opposed, not the ones who are still making up their minds, but among those who are unvaccinated are some that are vehemently opposed. And then there's a lady who interjects. I don't know if that lady's reply is in the text down here. I don't know French. And they're often misogynist, often racist. So even the quotes that's in the transcription is different than the quotes that were quoted in this article. So, you know, that's that. And what I compared it to was Trump. You know, Trump, I remember talking to a co-worker who said, no, Trump thinks that the illegal immigrants are all racist and he and are rapists. So he thinks, so Trump, he, the co-worker said Trump is a racist because he thinks that the illegal immigrants are rapists. And I'm like, you didn't pay attention, but let me pause. Sorry about that. I stepped away. Had to pause. Uh, this ver this is the virtual world. It's very important, but it's not as important as who's right there next to you, your neighbor. But um, yeah, tr the coworker said that Trump was a racist because he said that all the illegal immigrants are are rapists, and so this was the same thing happening back then where I saw, oh, these people are not very good sense makers. They're just accepting what they hear in the news, accepting what they hear in the headlines. They're not paying, going in and trying to interpret the words without bias. And you know, Trump, he, um, he said, um, they're not sending you, they're not sending you, they're sending people that have lots of problems and they're bringing those people with us. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. And some, I assume, are good people. So Trump didn't say that all of them are rapists, right? So, you know, Trudeau and Trump, I'm saying, like, I think everybody knows that in every group there are good people. And in every group there are bad people. The dangerous territory is whenever you call it out and you say, oh, you know, there are rapists in this group and there are rapists in this group and then all of a sudden um, those words can be used to imply in a headline that they, he said everyone in that group is a rapist or he said everyone in that group is a racist and so you have to be really careful and this is why you need to go over to my channel and click subscribe is because i'm actually a very good sense maker i'm i would uh, i have not encountered any sense makers better than myself. And what I mean by that is I haven't encountered people who are able to recognize their own bias and learn from their mistakes. Like, it's very rare. Uh, we as humans, we 
We don't like to change our worldviews. It's very uncomfortable to do so. We don't like to change our habits and routines. And so, yeah, head on over to my YouTube channel, um, join my Discord server, and I think we can um, we can play the new game where we, you know, we um, we practice developing better habits and routines, and fighting in a spiritual war in the virtual space. Um, all right, thank you.